Mistake proofing. That sounds like a dream, doesn't it? Who wouldn't want to have zero errors, zero mistakes, and zero defects? How is this accomplished? In part, it is through the poke yoke method that helps to control the production process of information and products when applied. It does this two different ways. The first is a control system or prevention system. The control system stops a process when something occurs that is out of compliance and does not let the process move forward. The warning system or detection system does not stop the process, rather it makes the operator aware of an issue and prompts them to stop the machine or deal with whatever issue may have triggered the warning. Wherever possible, a control system should be used. This is because the control system does not depend on a person. It stops the process based on any abnormality. With that being said, if you cannot use a control method, you should use a warning system. There are many different types of systems for both control and warning. Some use lights, others have sounds, and many use other forms of sensory notification. Both types will make people aware of an abnormality, but only one type will stop or control the process automatically. The key difference between the two is that one is automated and the other is not. Pokeyoke also uses three different methods to facilitate the control or warning of an error. Those three methods are contact methods, fixed value methods, and motion step methods. Each of these methods are very effective in detecting abnormalities. We will look at each of the methods individually in upcoming lectures.